Hello everyone, and today I'll show um, Sheepit, that's a free render farm that you can use for rendering your Blender projects in like minutes. Yeah, it supports EVM cycles, and today I will show how to create projects in Sheepit render farm. First, we go and create an account. I already have an account. Um, then you need to download sh download Sheepit's client. Uh, you will have it sure. So get started. Yeah, download the client and start rendering now. Uh, download it for your operative system. You can see the minimum clients requirements here. Then you need to open the clients and uh, then uh, ren render 10 frames there before selecting a file. So there's um special table how you uh, how they calculate the points so you can download the scene for reference machine and see it uh, then there's a list of average power is nothing interesting so you select the file when you render it more than 10 frames select the file Send the file. Now wait till it's loaded. So now when it's loaded on the render farm, so there's three percent left. If uh, the file is more than uh, seven hundred fifty megabytes, uh, it will say it can't load it. And also, it needs to contain only let's see, let's see, um, symbols. So you can here select the end frame. In my case, is 120. Uh, animation. You can enable GPU for faster rendering. Generate MP4 video to make the animation there's from uh, 3.0 to 3.5 blender supported i don't know what is splits but you can see it then advanced options you can set the most me maximum memory used but i never checked that so add this blend When it's added, there's waiting. There's a list of projects that will render before it. So let's find it. Yeah, waiting. And it will really wait. I don't know. Depending on the list, I don't know, on the frames of other people. For example, the priority is depending on the points. Here, um, this guy has 61 million points, so it's very high priority. And you need to wait. Then, you, uh, for finding your file, you need to go to my account and go to no go to here latest project and here it's waiting for um, updating the all the data and everything like that you can reload the web page because it's not up updating the uh, without that and here you can put a manager around if you disable this no 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 
disable this you can put a team or a user and then when it's finished it will be all blue and here will appear a button to download the, the mp4 video 2000 years later the next day when it's rendered you got here like first uh, thumbnail you can see what is the result then you have here download frames i suppose it's in the zip uh yeah it's a zip file then you have download video if you press download video it, it's a link you can right click the video and download video as so it's four seconds and here you also can see the charts so statistics about about the render so here are the list and also a uh, user distribution then the re rendered frames then there is also RAM usage point spent and cumulated time of render but real duration of render it's here is 8 hours 9 minutes and today uh, I have shown Sheepit the free render farm for Blender if you like, uh, like, <laughs> uh, and please subscribe. Okay, like, subscribe, uh, subscribe.